nobody picked her up more than Saisha Gori. What a performance. What a performance. A double-double once again. She was dominant on the inside. The way she went after rebounds, the way she would take it at the rim inside, take advantage of the mismatches. We heard her talking just there in that interview how she recognized the mismatches in this game, and she just took advantage. Nice high-low passing between the post players. They work so well with one another. She's always working into position for the offensive rebound. Use that little stab hook over and over tonight and sets up one way and steps through the other way. Just great work in the paint before she went out with that injury the last few minutes, but just an outstanding performance going in there. We talked about how early that Indiana was in the zone. Michigan shot him out of his zone, and then Goree took advantage inside. Such a strong force getting points and boards, but the same could be said for Nicole Elmblad, 15 and 11 for her. Exactly, another double-double, and the way those two work together. We saw the high-low pass in those clips, but Elmblad has that mid-range game, stretches it out away from Goree a little bit. They just work so well in tandem, and they worked very well against the interior of Indiana. Finally, what's more impressive to you, the fact that five different players had double-digit points or the fact that, yet again, they won the rebounding margin by double digits? Well, uh, e rebounding is what they do. So, you know, that's not as surprising that they would have that kind of an edge. And the fact that they have five and double figures, that's come to be expected. But in a tournament setting, you know, coming in here and getting everybody involved, that's an impressive thing that you need to do in a tournament setting. And now they get, they're going to get an opportunity to face Michigan State, who they only lost to by single digits the last time they played. So this means Indiana's run in the Big Ten comes to a close, not necessarily their season. They've still got a shot with 18 wins to be in the WNIT. Uh, what a weird year. I mean, they start off 14-0, the best start in program history, but they only get four wins the rest of the way. Yeah, not completely surprising. I mean, they had a non-conference schedule that would allow them some success, and Kurt Miller wanted this young team to experience that success, that taste of winning, and they certainly did, but they just didn't have the experience when, once it came time to playing in Big Ten to make a big dent. But as you look at the composition of this team, it was five seniors that showed that leadership and mentorship, and then a lot of freshmen. And I think those seniors that graduate and in their careers today, or if they get a chance to go to postseason, they have meant a lot to the next step for this program. And they are a very young team. As you said, 60% of the scoring for Indiana this year came from freshmen.